Hey there, Delilah. I know just what you're thinking. But ever since you left, well, I've been permanently drinking. And I know I said that the distance wouldn't matter. And the first three months were fine, but that was because my heart had barely shattered. But rather than healing, time's been assaulting all my wounds. The insult to this injury and the weather to these ruins that were once us and the perfection we once were before distance came between us and our dreams became disturbed. When I was a happy person, it was part of a happy couple, not thinking for the future or realising the trouble that would be caused the second we should part. But back then I never for a second guessed that you would break my heart because I was in love and unable to realise that every day without you would eat me alive. There was no way that I could have known the loss of one in seven billion people would make me all alone. Hey there, Delilah. I'm sorry for these issues, but it's at a point now where it's just not enough to say that I miss you. But trust me when I say it, for it is a promise. The picture of you in my mind's the only dream that hasn't vanished. Cause ever since that you walked out, all my dreams become distorted. But don't blame yourself, it's all the shit that I've been snorting. I needed to find a way to relieve the pain of you not being here. So I battled with narcotics to fight back all my tears. I know it's not the best of ways to deal with the anguish. And I'm really ashamed to admit it's become a disgusting habit. I'm sorry for any pain and disappointment that this causes and I accept it's all my fault because there was no other hand that forced it and I only wish that that was the worst of what I'd done but I really hate to say that I've done something beyond wrong with my world becoming jaded and views becoming hateful I made the worst mistake of my life and I was unfaithful Hey there Delilah, I'm not asking for forgiveness, I just felt owed you the truth about the sins that I've committed, they will always remain as the worst of my regrets, there's no possible way that I could ever forget, not that I deserve to, I mean I deserve to burn, it's beyond the pale that I've caused you this kind of hurt, and I guess it's no consolation to say this isn't how it should have ended, especially as an ending was never what I intended. I honestly thought that we would be forever. We'd grow old in bliss, constantly together. But as it is now, well, that'll never be possible. And it's all because I was irrevocably irresponsible. And I can't stress how hard it felt to lose all these beliefs. And I sincerely hope that you can recognise this apology. And I'll be praying that this letter offers you some closure. Because although that I can't bear it, we are now over.